There's loneliness, fear, hatred. And the Bible claims that these are a result of our being disconnected from God. Without God, we don't actually know who we are anymore. But at the center of the Bible story is Jesus. 及时关注今日报最新影片，欢迎订阅我们，并且打开小铃铛通知提醒。您的支持是我们最大的鼓励。You know, one of the worst feelings imaginable is the feeling of being alone. This is why solitary confinement is one of the cruelest punishments ever in human history. Yeah, we were designed for relationships. The most meaningful thing in life is to be truly known by another person. But this can actually be kind of scary too. I mean, what if I let people down? Or what if when someone learns who I really am, they'll realise they can't really love me? I mean, how are we supposed to really find meaningful relationships? And so the Bible speaks to all of this. It says that God created the world in order to share with us the beauty of existence. God's desire for us is to have significant friendships, to be part of families, to create things, and to share our work with others. And all the while, depending on God as our source of love and life. But here's the thing: there's so many barriers to that. There's loneliness, fear. Hatred, and the Bible claims that these are a result of our being disconnected from God. Without God, we don't actually know who we are anymore. But at the center of the Bible story is Jesus, who wants to bring us back into a relationship with God. Jesus claimed that God loves us for who we are, and that He calls us to a relationship with Him despite our failures. And when you realize how loved you are by God, that He is not ashamed of you. It changes everything. It gives you a source of love that is not your own. So the story of the Bible is calling us into the most important relationship. Yeah, it's calling us to know and be known by the Creator God Himself.